Okay, just put the battery back in, as you can see. And this is the first start in, oh, probably a month at least, maybe two months. Don't mind my truck, I've just got my old Cummins idling over there. Yeah, you can see, two liters swapped in. Not the cleanest job in the world, but it works. Let's check the oil real quick here. Looks like new. Throw that in there, back in there. Now let's give it a shot. Again, we're about negative seven, negative 10. It is a convertible, so you wanna push the window in, otherwise it'll catch the seal there, like that. And you don't want that, so you just push it in like that. And these seals are always not great, but anyway, that's not what we're here about. Could use a little bit of a clean, it's not filthy, but it's got some leaves and stuff on there, mostly from sitting, I'm sure. Here, let's do a cold start. I'm sure it's in neutral. Yeah. There we go. Fired up like new. No smoke. Look at that. Man, I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting it to start that well. Not at negative 10. I wonder if you can see the, the temp gauge in here. Right there in the corner, I mentioned to you that that coolant light is always flashing because there's no coolant level sensor now because it's all swapped. But yeah, this thing has not ran in about a m month or better. And uh, runs like new. Man, I'm impressed. Holy balls, I guarantee you a carb unit would not have fired up that easy. Give you a little look of the inside here real quick. Just a little bit of that. These are seats out of a Mark III, so they're not quite as tight as they're supposed to be, but they function. Wiper blades in the back and yeah, what else? See the top there. The top is actually in pretty good shape, but you can't see it now. I'm gonna go put it in the shop. It's not supposed to be sitting outside anyway, but I just haven't had time to put it in the shop yet. But yeah, there you have it. Heater works good. Of course, it's cold still. 